I guess so I was literally making another video but you know I get kind of bored so I was checking another people's creations and I check this carrier which uh, which is in my subscription list and I was checking the island of the carrier and I noticed something crazy the guests notice what's not quite right with this island here well this island is small grid so the carrier itself is a large grid ship but the island is a sub grid that's like that's like uh, a way to use sub grid that i've never really seen before i've never seen someone use sub grids to like you know make actual structural stuff of the ship like the island all right let's check the island now all right so we have the passenger seats here that's interesting i've never seen a carrier with so many passenger seats at the bottom oh wait what wait how how do they get the leather shaft with small grid what uh hold on i so this middles what uh, i don't get this uh all right we're, we're, we're gonna figure out this black magic letter let's just check the internal so this is the what this is a large grid helm hold on really but all right never mind that's probably a small grid helm or something i was super confused there so we have all these buttons here well i mean you get some kind of vision from this bridge here all right interesting what about these seats here so these are probably just auxiliary seats or something and back here hmm i think this might be the armory or well a place where you can store your weapons and this is like the balcony of the island or something all right let's go down to the inside the hall now oh wait hold on there's timer blocks programmable blocks and lcd panels all right what's back here all right there's just another entrance all right so how did they get this uh large grid ladder shelf on a small grid structure this is very weird uh see this is, this is a large grid sliding door and it's somehow it's wrapped in a small grid structure i'm really confused now hold on let me figure this out oh by the way the shim is the kng class extract carrier by convict and the PCO is 25,278. Alright, let's figure out this uh, small grid black magic here. Is there like a rotor? I'm gonna delete some blocks here. Alright. There we go. So this is the rotor. Huh. Wow, that's crazy. That's like a very tight tolerance. And the creator somehow managed to make this whole structure seamless with the rest of the ship that's pretty cool actually i mean i totally won't recommend doing something like this for stability and practicality reason but if this is something that you really want to do then well i guess you can do it so i guess one of the downsides of doing something like this is that you won't really have air tightness inside the structure but still though that's pretty cool uh so there's a slight problem i don't have control over the whole ship from up here so because this is a sub grid you cannot really control the actual ship structure from in here so that's kind of a problem well i guess if you meant the island to be like a place to look for you know ships that are landing and taking off from the carrier then that won't be too much of a problem or maybe there's like a scripted solution or something all right let's crash the ship now i'm not controlling the ship by the way i'm just letting it fall 
because I cannot control it from up here. I wanna see whether or not the subgrid is gonna clang or not. Here goes. Ah, uh, oof. Oh no. I got I got detached from the whole structure. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. Ah, uh, hold on. I wanna see the damage. Oh. That's a lot of damage. So yeah, that's the KNG Extract Class Carrier by... I forget the name again. By Kongbik. You can find the link in the description below. This is a very interesting ship.